Update 9.16 will bring improved spotting mechanics, the first Swedish tank, vehicles reworked in HD quality, the new Paris map in random battles, interface tweaks, and a lot more. The mechanics for spotting vehicles have changed in the game. Previously, if a vehicle drove from behind cover at high speed, it was displayed with a delay. Players had to take a larger target lead, but their chance of hitting the target was still pretty low. In Update 9.16, enemy vehicles are displayed almost immediately after they've been spotted. This improvement is especially noticeable when detecting an enemy at long distance. Previously, fast vehicles could sometimes rush through an open area without taking any risk. Now, such cases are rarely possible, as players have more time to make an accurate first shot. Developers have also tackled the problem of FPS reduction when several vehicles are detected simultaneously. Not only objects on the map, but also vehicle models are now preloaded along with the battle. This will help players respond to various in-game situations more promptly. An important event in World of Tanks is the introduction of Swedish vehicles. The first Swedish tank was added to the game so that players could prepare for the new branch. The STRV M4257 Alt A2 is a premium tier 6 medium tank. It features pretty good mobility and an oscillating turret with an autoloader. The tank is well suited for leveling up your first Swedish crew and earning some extra credits. 20 vehicles were reworked in HD quality. Now they look more realistic. The armor layout was changed for many vehicles. For example, the 112 Chinese Premium Tank and the M4A 2E4 Sherman Tank received a significantly improved turret and hull. Profitability was reworked for the VK 45.03 German Premium Vehicle. This tank will now earn a lot more credits. The reworked Paris map was added to random battles. It recreates a well-known part of the French capital with the Eiffel Tower, Palais de Chaillot, and Trocadero Fountain. The battlefield can be divided into three areas. The urban area is a place for heavy, thick-skinned vehicles to lock horns. There's a bridge that opens up some interesting tactical capabilities. The open area is well-suited for long-range shots and breakthroughs of fast tanks. The central square is where all city streets meet, making it both dangerous and interesting. Having aggressively captured the center, you can provide support to your allies on the flanks. But keep in mind that you'll be exposed to enemy fire from any direction, so be cautious. We have studied your feedback on the updated mini-maps and reworked 30 more with higher visual quality. Keep posting your comments. They help us make the game even better. Clan functionality was reworked, too. Now players can take their friends from other clans into skirmishes. A clan player can also become a legionnaire. The in-game interface continues to improve. Developers keep adding the most popular features from game mods to the client. Players can now compare vehicles in the garage by different characteristics. When comparing, they can also specify the experience of the crew's major qualification and install modules on the vehicle. This will make it more convenient to choose new vehicles and improve the ones already purchased. More settings are now available for the vehicle selector. Players can choose from three variants. A standard selector, one with two rows, and a minimized two-row carousel. This will make it easier to find the required vehicle for those who have a large range of tanks in their garage. The interface for personal missions was updated too. Having selected a vehicle, Players will see information about current events, along with the active mission and upcoming ones. The chat between the teams was completely disabled. In the heat of battle, it often became a tool for provocations by toxic players from both teams, and this had a negative impact on players' experience. Fire direction indicators became more informative. They now display information about the amount of received or blocked damage and the attacking enemy vehicle, if it is spotted. In addition, there is now a new fire direction indicator showing a critical hit sustained by the player's vehicle. The hit is marked orange, and an icon shows up for the damaged module or injured crew member. A panel for total damage during the battle became available to players. It displays three parameters, total damage caused to spotted enemies, total damage blocked by armor, 
and total damage caused by allies with the player's assistance. This will allow tankers to see their performance during the battle and help them accomplish their missions. Battle performance badges became more informative. They tell players about the key events in battle, damage caused, vehicles spotted, modules damaged, and so on. Update 9.16 brings a reworked and improved sound system. The range of sounds for different calibers was extended. Now sounds for five different calibers, instead of three, will be played for Tier 8, 9, and 10 vehicles. The sound indication for damage received was reworked. Now it's even clearer how serious the damage sustained by your tank is. A new sound system was created for guns with an autoloader. Now, players are informed about the number of shells in the drum and get relevant notifications when there is one shell left and when the drum is empty. The sound settings interface was improved too. New, endless, and non-recurring music was added for the premium garage. Besides this, players can choose one of two sounds for the sixth sense notification or use their own MP3 files. The low-quality preset was reworked too. The option became available to all players, and the low-quality audio sounds better without requiring more computing power. That's all for now. Play and win. Good luck on the battlefield.